Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed an example in which we have used set and reset coils. So today in this video, we are going to discuss the same example. But in this video, instead of using set and reset coils, I will be using latching. So let's look at the example first. Example 11. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 2 will be off and motor 3 will be on. And then if switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. So in this case, we will be using latching and we will be also using normally closed contacts. I will open EcoStructure Machine Expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab where I will select a logic controller. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using DM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. So the logic controller I have selected has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So I can also go to serial line where I can select protocol as Modbus ASC II TMS 2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will select it as TMS 2GDB and then I will click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the example. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and zoom into it like this. So, so if switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And if switch 1 is off, then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be on. So in this case, we will latch motor 2. So when switch 1 is off, motor 2 will still remain on. I will insert normally open contact here and then a coil. Then I will insert another normally open contact here. Then I will connect this normally open contact by drawing a line like this. Then I need to assign addresses to these contacts as well as the coil. Firstly, I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. .0. Then I will assign symbol to it as switch 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to this coil as I, sorry, Q 0.1. I will add symbol as motor 2. Yes. So when switch 1 is on, motor 2 will be on. And then when switch 1 is off, motor 1 should remain on. So we will latch motor 2 here. I will assign address to this normally closed contact as I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as switch 2. Yes. So when switch 2 is on, motor 2 will be off. Then I will add a new rung here and then I will insert normally open contact and two coils. We can also add only one coil here. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 
0 0.1 which is switch 2 and then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as motor 3. Yes. So when switch 2 is on, motor 3 will be on and also motor 2 will be off. And when switch 2 is off, motor 3 will be off. I will add a new rung here and then I will insert two normally open contacts and one coil. And then I will connect this normally open contact by drawing a line like this. And I will assign address to this contact as I 0.1. And then I will assign address to this coil as M0, which is a memory bit. I will also add symbol to it as memory bit. Yes. So we need to latch this memory bit. I will also add address to this contact, same as this memory bit, that is M0. So when switch 2 is on, memory bit will be true and when switch 2 is off, memory bit still remains true. Then I will add a new rung here and then insert normally open contact and normally closed contact and a coil. So I will assign address to this contact as M0 which is memory bit and I will assign address to this con normally closed contact as switch 2 which is I 0 0.1 switch 2 and I will address it as Q 0 0.3 I will also add symbol to it as motor 4 yes so when switch 2 is off motor 4 will be on. So I will exit full screen mode here I will compile the program and then I will go to commissioning I will launch simulator And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. As you can see here, when I turn on switch 1, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And when I turn off switch when I turn off switch 1, motor 1 will be off, but motor 2 still remains on. And then when I turn on switch 2, motor 2 will be off. As we have used a normally closed contact here, that is when switch 2 is on, the current will not flow through it. And motor 2 will be off. And when switch 2 is on, motor 3 will be on. Also memory bit will be on and then when I turn off switch 2 memory bit still remains true as we have last it here on turning off switch 2 memory bit still remains true and when memory bit is true switch 2 is false as we have used normally close contact here in false state the current will flow through it and motor 4 will be on it was all about this example. Thank you for watching.